Okay, this is a neat little trick for how to square anything in the 50s. So let's look at 57 squared. For the 5, you take 25, and then you add on the other digit 7. That gives you 32. Then in the two, des uh, two spots after the 32, put in 7 squared. And there's your answer, 3,249. So if it was 53 squared, for the 5, I write down 25. The other digit is a 3. I add 25 and 3. That gives me 28. And in the two spaces after 28, I'll put in 3 squared, which is 9. So I have to put in 0, 9. It actually will work with anything near 50. So, for instance, if I had something like 62 squared, that's 50 plus 12. So, for the 50, I'm going to write 25, and then I'm going to add on 12. That gives me 37. And in the two spots after that, I'm going to put 12 squared, which is 144. The 4 and the 4 are going to drop there, and the 1 will add on to the 7. So I get 3,844. If it's less than 50, so if I have something like 47 squared, um, I start again with 25. I'm always starting with 25. But since it's 3 less than 50, I subtract 3. That'll give me my answer of 22 with two spots. And then I'm going to write the 3 squared in those two spots as 0, 9 again. And there's my answer, 2,209. Now this is why it works. Any number in the 50s can be written as 50 plus something. So let's look at 57. It's 57, uh, 50 plus 7 squared. Now I know that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this equals 50 squared plus 2 times 50 times 7 plus 7 squared. Well, 50 squared is 2,500. And I'm going to write that as 25 times 100. This is 100 times 7, which I'll write as 7 times 100. And then I have my 49, the 7 squared. Now, if you look at this, there is a 100 there and a 100 there that I can factor out. So I'm left with 25 plus 7 both times 100, and then 49 added. Okay, well, what's 25 plus 7? That ends up giving me 32, and 100 just puts two spaces there. That's where my 100 is, and uh, then I'm going to add on the 49. So the 49 just goes into those two spaces. And there's how you get your answer, 3,249. Only because the numbers are in the 50s does this happen. When you have 2 times 50, you get 100, so you can factor it out, and it's going to be always 25 plus that other digit. So that's why it works.